Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at accessing our webcam. Now, I've done videos on this uh, topic before, and uh, I remember last time I did a video, someone uh, commented something like, this is why I hate Linux. You have to type all these stupid commands to get simple things like webcams to work. And that, that's, that's not true. I'm showing you how to access it through the shell and give it options so you can code things out. Uh, if you're looking just to access your webcam, you can use a GUI interface. VLC is a good one, or a very good one once you install is called Cheese. I'm typing at the shell here because I don't have a start menu, uh, but I have a fix going here. Um, Cheese is a webcam application. You can see it right here. Uh, once it's installed, it will be under your application menu, you know, your start menu, like you are if you are on Windows. Uh, and you open it up and you get this. I can do photos, I can do videos, I can do burst shots, I can do all these effects. I can do, uh, here's a fun one. <laughs> okay, visit filmsbychris.com. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you can, I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun with this. Uh, I can uh, do, oh, this looks like a fun one. Oh, and um, yeah, so if you're just looking to access the webcam, take some pictures or videos and maybe do effects, Cheese is a great application. It's It might already be installed on a lot of distros. Just search Cheese. If not, install it with your package manager. Uh, but beyond that, we're going to look at how to do it from the shell. Why do it from the shell? Well, this is allows you to script it out if you want to write a script or an alias. Um, you know, or if you just want to like grab a shot, but we're going to work on not saving it to a file, not taking a picture, but actually displaying it on the screen. And it's super simple. Uh, video devices on Linux are going to be under your device folder video. Uh, so if I was to list out my full, my directory here, I can say uh, video and asterisk, and you can see here I have two listed. Uh, this first one is my webcam here. Uh, and uh, I'm betting this is not going to work if I go cat invalid command. Uh, you used to be able to cat out video devices. Yeah, invalid arguments. And it would just give you the, the binary data you can dump to a file. You might still be able to do that with some webcams. But we're going to use MPV. MPV is my personal uh, video player by, or media player by uh, default. I, I like it for playing music and audio files and video files. I just, I like it. And so I want to use that for my webcam. So I should be able to just type in MPV and tell it which webcam I want. So webcam or my camera video zero. I do that and it's going to open up. And you can see here uh, that set this last thing I set it to. Uh, so I don't have the best webcam. I thought I was buying one that was halfway decent and it's just kind of slow. There's a little bit of delay in the audio here, the way it's streaming through here. There are a lot of settings you can give it. But you can see right here, right now it's playing at this resolution at 15 frames a second. So how do we change that? Okay, uh, I can change it by using another command. So to get started, I should have mentioned to install VLC, or not VLC, MPV, you would use your package manager. I'm going to use apt, and so I would sudo apt install MPV. The second thing we need, or we don't, I guess we don't need, but we're going to use, uh, is VL2, VL2 loopback dash utilities or utils. So I already have both those installed. Once you have those installed, again, MPV is the media player, but VL2, VL2 is video for Linux, I guess, version two. But installing that package will give us this command here, which just like MPV has lots of options, but it's gonna let us set our camera something. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it using this command. Again, this looks like a long command, but you can alias this out or putting in a script, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But look, so we do VLC and we do set dash MT, and there's gonna be links in the description so you can copy and paste some of this stuff. Uh, set dash MFT, I'm assuming format, video, and then we can give it a width and a height right? I can do that and now it's set that camera or set all my cameras to play at that resolution. So I can come up here and run this MPV command again and now you're going to see I have a much slower frame rate but a higher resolution. Again, this just has to do with my having a cheap webcam. Um, of course, there's other options you might be able to change to get the higher resolution with higher frame rate. But we can go back in here and change these to different settings. Now, you're not going to be able to set it to a resolution that your camera doesn't support. So if I was to do like something like this, that, that's not a, a standard resolution, but it's going to go to the closest available based on those numbers we give it. So now I do that and you can see it's doing 1280 by uh, 960, still getting five frames a second. Thing is, since it's going to the closest, by the way, I'm hitting control C just to close that out, is I only have to give it one, the height or the width, and it's going to go to the closest. So I can say like 600 here 
And now when I open it up with MPV, it's going to go to the closest, which is 640 by 480. And I'm getting 30 frames a second, which is good. Uh, there's still a slight delay, which I'm not seeing in cheese. So again, there's other settings you can change, but I'm just showing you quickly some of the default things you can set. Um, but yeah, I got good, uh, you know, a little bit of a delay, but I got good um, frame rate and uh, I got it at a resolution of 640 by 480. Uh, let's go ahead and go all the way down to 300 and I can do that and it's probably going to do 320, no 352 by 288. It's going to set it, it's not, it's not quite as widescreen as before, it's a little more squished. It's just one of those standard resolutions that are there. But I'm getting my 30 frames a second out of that. And uh, not much of a delay at this point. We can go even lower if we want. I can just say 100 and then run MPV on that camera again. Now, I'm very pixelated, almost no delay, uh, and, and 30 frames a second. Again, a lot of the, the speed, the frames per second, and the resolution is going to have to do with your camera. My camera is a 1080p camera, but it doesn't get that, that frame rate at that, at least not with these settings. Again, that's all I have to show you. Uh, again, if you want, you can run this uh, Video for Linux 2 control, if you run man on that or MPV, you'll get the man file and you can see all the different options in here. So you can tweak it to your liking and it even gives you plenty of examples. I love man pages that give examples because you just copy and paste some of these and you're all set. Uh, but definitely look through that if you want to get more options. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to change the resolution and how to play the video. Uh, another option, now I'm just doing MPV and pointing it directly to that video device. A lot of videos. Uh, or a lot of things I've read suggest using uh, av colon forward slash forward slash video for Linux 2 colon forward slash and then the file. Uh, I'm showing you this because uh, it works the same on my system, but for some reason, if the first command doesn't, go ahead and give that a try. But again, you can alias this, this stuff or use it in scripts, which is why we use the shell to shorten things up. So I don't have to type out all this, right? I can alias that, and then I already aliased it to webcam on mine. So I can do webcam, and it's going to start playing that. Again, at the last settings I had set, but I can also alias it to run both those commands, or put in a script to run both those commands. So I can just type in uh, webcam, and it will put it to the resolution I want, and display it on the screen. I can also set it to set it to the resolution I want, dump it to a file, and stream it, and play it on my screen. But that's the point of the shell, is like you can shorten up these commands to, uh, to simple little commands. So you can have three lines of code all in you know, one letter, I could just be like W, although W is already, already a command, right? So that's it for this tutorial. Again, check out the link in the description to the notes where you'll see the examples of these commands that I've done. And uh, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.